Hey everybody, we are here with a very special guest and we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. It's kind of the end of the day for the Minicon and everyone's packing up. So would you mind introducing yourself and telling us what you do? My name is Alyssa Slusher and I make handmade chain mill jewelry. Um, I started in about 2009 and I've been doing it off and on since then, but more consistently since um, about 2012 or so. My business name is Rainbow Rose Chainmail, so I work a lot of rainbow, but color in general. And I just do like all kinds of like jewelry and necklaces and bracelets and all kinds of fun stuff. I know at our work, um, Christmas, White Elephant Exchange, um, just about everyone actually purchased a piece from Melissa. I think there were only two people who didn't get Rainbow Rose pieces. I actually won one, it's beautiful. It's a circlet with interlocking full spectrum rainbow pieces. It's my second favorite piece because I have another one that's a beautiful green gemstone. Uh, for the chain mill, how do you get involved in it? Um, I actually had a friend of mine uh, teach me one of the patterns that I did and from there I just kind of took it and ran with it because okay. I found it really interesting so I got a bunch of my own rings and started looking at patterns and stuff online. Uh, how long does say maybe a standard bracelet take you? Um, depending on the complicate, uh, the, how complicated the pattern is, it can take anywhere from 45 minutes to an, a couple hours. Wow. Okay, and are, is there like a set number to how many interlocking patterns there are? Like for the, the weave, I guess, would be what it's called? Like, uh... Like I know you mentioned there's a Tunisian style, I think, of the, the way the chains kind of twist in a pattern, or like your blue and green necklace here mm -hmm. that has the locket. Like what would you call that kind of pattern? Well, this pattern, or like the purple and blue one that I'm wearing is, uh, nickname uh, GSG, I actually forget what it's short for, and then this green and silver one that I'm, I've got right now, it's uh, Byzantine. I think that's what I'm thinking of, not yeah. Tunisian, Yeah, um, but there's hundreds of patterns. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. I know probably about 20 to 25 different, different ones right now. Um, there's a lot of them that depend on like different ring sizes and, and wire gauges. So there's some that I, I would like to do, but I can't because I don't have the right size for it. I see, yeah. So it kind of just depends on what you have and like what you get into for it. Okay, very cool. Is this something that you're also open to commissions? Like can, say, a stranger off the street approach you to get it oh, yeah. made? Okay, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All the time. Uh, what avenues would they take to reach out to you? Um, probably the best is mes message me through my Facebook page okay. or uh, text me and just let me know you're interested in a, yeah. uh, whatchamacallit. Mission, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, the sun is getting to us all. I'm tired. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, it's, it's um, the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, through my Facebook page, email. Okay, cool. Any social media, honestly. Nice. I'm mostly on Facebook, but yeah, Facebook. Do you, do you have any maybe limits to a piece? Like, I mean, obviously, someone can't order a full chainmail shirt. I don't think. I mean, if they can, then we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I mostly stick to jewelry. Okay. I can, like, if you approach me with something that you're interested in, like you sh if you show me a picture that you saw online or something, um, I'll tell you if I'm able to do it or not. Okay. That kind of a thing. Or if you, like, see something in mind that you want in different colors, I can do that. Okay. Um, nice. Some of the more complicated patterns, like, may take a while, but I'm usually willing to do for the right price, obviously. Yeah, obviously, yeah. <laughs> so, there's, the, the only limit is that if I'm... If I tell you I can't do something, then I can't do it. Yeah, people have to understand that, that they can't push an artist and, like, make unrealistic demands. Right. Like, I mean, you can't get a chainmail shirt for 50 bucks. No. Like, God. No, there's no way. Yeah, no. No, no not, not even, like, materials at cost no. would be that cheap. No. So what, do you have any advice that you would give someone to maybe starting out or who wants to get involved in chainmail? If it's something that you're interested in, learn all you can. Uh -huh. My, the one thing that I wished I had paid more attention to was my closures on the rings. Okay. So to just make it like a nice presentable piece. Okay. So that and just have fun with it. Yeah. Okay. Very <laughs> cool. Is there a big community? Like, are there resources on? Maybe forums, Facebook. There's YouTube. there's a group on Facebook just called Chainmail. Two words, 
Okay. That app has literally over 10,000 people in it. Wow, okay. Yeah. So, and like there's new people all the time like asking questions and the more experienced people will come in and answer and help people That's learn great. a new weave and yeah. oh yeah, there's, there's plenty of support online. Very cool, very cool. Now with Maynard Minicon, is this the first time you've attended or have you attended in the past? This is actually the second time I've been a vendor and okay. I think the third or fourth time that I've actually like just attended the con. Okay, very cool. How many events like this do you do annually? Um, I'm just starting to do more events and stuff like this. Um, I did a couple last year. I'm trying to do three or four this year. And cool. So I'm kind of like expanding nice. into what I can do. Very cool, very cool. Now, do you agree that Harry Potter is the worst character in the series and he doesn't deserve love or comfort? Yes. Yeah, see? <laughs> God, he's the worst. I remember the scene when Neville tries to talk to him about the levitating trees. Now, I'm huge into botany, so that's something I'd be like, wow, Neville, that's super cool. And Harry is like, I don't really care. Like, shut up, you wizard jock. Dude. Don't be mean to him. Nobody's favorite character is Harry. Just, just Thank no. you. Thank just, you. No. There's so much for life. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there, there are way more better characters than Harry Potter. No, yeah. Harry Potter's literally the worst. Luna is awesome. Luna's great. She's I so love underrated. Luna. I mean, oh. and the thing that really bothers me, like, do you remember when she was being bullied in the dormitory? Yeah. Like, those other Ravenclaws. Yeah. Those were supposed to be her brothers and sisters picking on her. It, it riles me up, man. I hate, I hate bullying. Yeah. So, very cool. Thank you very much. How would someone find you on social media? Uh, look up Rainbow Rose Chainmail. Um, that's my shop name on Etsy, and that's my page name on Facebook. 